Here we have the LS4071 Symbol Scanner Wireless Kit. What you're going to get with this kit are all the components you need to hook this to your PC or laptop with a PS2 connection. We have the uh, Synops cable, the adapter for the keyboard, the wireless base charging unit, the wireless scanner itself, and the power supply. I'm going to show you how to hook all this up. Take the uh, Snops cable, plug that into the back of the charger. Take the front of the scanner, plug that into the adapter. Power cord here. Scanner can go in cradle, and then the power supply. Just plug it into the 110 outlet. Plug that in here. Scanner makes a couple beeps, noises, and then it starts to flash and showing that it is charging. When that light becomes amber, um, then it will uh, go all the time. Or that means it's got a full charge when it's amber. Over here we have the uh, back of the computer. I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the back of the computer. It's real simple. You pull out your keyboard, the purple one, and you can plug that right into the adapter. And then you plug the adapter of the symbol adapter right in to the keyboard port. And that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the computer on. Just give it a second to boot up. Then we'll scan into uh, an Excel program or you can scan into a Word program or whatever application you're using that uh, basically takes the keyboard input you can scan into it. It's a nice little feature. Okay, I'm just going to open up Excel here. And I'm just going to grab a barcode. One thing I want to do over here before we do this is I want to pair the scanner with the base unit. The barcode that's right here, you just scan that makes a few beeps. Now the base unit and the scanner are in communication with each other. Okay, let's just go ahead and scan the barcode here. And it just scans it right in. Now I'm going to scan this lower barcode. And I'll just hit enter here. It scans it right in. So it's really simple. Everything you need uh, to make your scanning needs is here. Uh, one other option that you can look at um, is you can use a USB adapter. If you don't have the PS2 ports, just get a regular USB adapter. See that? And then just plug your adapter into here and then into the USB port if you need USB capabilities. Uh, one other thing, sometimes when you, when you plug it all in, the power, um, it doesn't scan the first time. Just unplug the power and plug it back in if for some reason it doesn't scan on your first attempt. But we already solved that, so it seems to be working just great.